Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Madeline Dawson. And I'm Lauren Sousa. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an A day with Double Charger Connect 5. Tomorrow is a B day. Gymnastics has the Northern Regional Finals at Washington Liberty tonight. The Black History question provided by the Black Student Association for today is, what is the name of the hymn that was written as a poem by James Weldon Johnson that has become known as the Black National Anthem? You can receive a prize by telling Mr. Payton your answer in Subschool 4. If you have an announcement you would like to submit to the Nightly News, we have a request form linked in the description of our shows on YouTube. You can also email chs.tkn at gmail.com. The Chantilly Aerospace Club has a meeting tonight at 7 p.m. in room 569. Entrepreneurship is selling candy grams. Make sure to buy candy grams at the Purple Express on the senior side of the cafeteria. They will be sold until the 13th and they are $3 each. Computer Science Honor Society will be providing tutoring each Wednesday in room 257. Those looking for help on their labs or code can receive help from experienced tutors and members can gain service hours. Don't forget to buy your tickets to the all-night grab party on June 7th at 11 p.m. until June 8th at 5 a.m. Early bird pricing of $75 ends February 28th and then prices go up. There will be a DJ, casino games, prizes every hour, and more food than you can eat. For more information, make sure to scan the QR code. You won't want to miss this fun event. Flowergrams will be sold in the cafeteria next week from February 6th to 10th during all lunch periods. They are $2 each. You must know the recipient's 5th or 7th period teacher. They will be handed out on the 14th. From bars to beams to floors, the gymnastics team has had several athletes placing at meets. With, with a very new coaching staff and new members, the gymnastics team is finding their footing. Well, before coming here, I actually went to the University of Michigan, did gymnastics there, graduated, and then I moved to LA for work. And with COVID and everything over there, I decided to move back here. And when someone told me that there was an opportunity to coach gymnastics here, I definitely wanted to do it. Um, I really missed doing gymnastics and, you know, it's really hard and my body didn't really <laughs> allow me to do it anymore. So this has been a really fun experience just getting to see the girls and like knowing that they're as excited as I was doing this. So before Chantilly I was actually helping kids with autism and working in a clinic and doing ABA therapy but I went to VCU and did psychology there and I've always done gymnastics in my life so um, yeah I thought it'd be fun to coach high school gymnastics. I like our head coach because she pushes us a lot more than our old coaches did, but she pushes us while letting us have fun. Like I know like a lot of our club coaches used to just push us and not let us have any fun with it, but she like is a good mix of both. So with new coaches, it's been a little different from previous years, but we've been doing a lot more team bonding and just like game activities to like connect us as a team. 
Um, I think for the team to accomplish this year, I, I just want them to like get more confident in themselves, not only like through their gymnastics skills, but just in life. And they're doing really awesome and they've improved a lot and I can see that and it's, yeah, it's really cool to watch. Uh, our new coaches have helped me improve personally by finding like new ways to get the highest score that we can, like to personalize it to our strengths and our weaknesses. I just think that being able to like flip and do skills is really fun and I also like being part of a team where everyone's super encouraging and just having fun and bonding with everyone. So I'm excited about um, our seniors. We only have three seniors and I'm excited for everyone to get new skills and try new events and different things that they've been like nervous about or afraid to. And yeah, spending time with them, getting to know them as people and it's, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Regionals are Wednesday, February 8th. This has been Kriti Sharma and Cooper Young for the Nightly News. Now back to you. The regional tournament is tonight at Washington at 5 p.m. Good luck to the team tonight. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Lauren Sousa. And Madeline Dawson reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.